There lived a jackal in a forest. One day, it was thought to have a look at the nearby village and to see the people there. It walked towards the village. It saw a few donkeys, horses, cows, buffaloes, and goats. As it moved ahead a little, it heard the dogs barking. As it looked around, it saw many dogs running towards it. It ran helter-skelter. The dogs were behind it. Anyhow, it managed to enter a house. The house belonged to a dyer. The tub was full of blue dye. Frightened as it was, it fell into the tub. When the dogs went away, it came out of the tub of the house and ran to the forest as fast as its legs could carry it. When it was about to enter the forest, it got a chance to see his reflection in the water. Its skin had changed to blue. It thought, I look beautiful now. Moreover, no one in the forest is of this beautiful color. Why not make use of it? The tiger cautiously muttered, What strange creature is this? Its color warns of danger. The cautious monkey nervously chattered. I've never seen such a beast. The timid rabbit whispered with trembling. We should be careful. Finally, the lion growled. This is no ordinary animal. On seeing it, all the wild animals were frightened. They had never seen such a strange animal. The animals started running away. On seeing the wild animals frightened of itself, it stood on a hillock and said, in a changed voice, Oh, wild animals, you need not be afraid of me. I am your king, do not be afraid of me. God has sent me to this forest to look after you all. The jackal allotted various duties to animals. It said to the tiger, You will be my bodyguard. Defending me is your duty. It said to the lion not to kill an animal. When it is not necessary, it asked the rhinoceros to be his gatekeeper. The jackal decided to appoint the rabbit and the monkey as its personal chefs. The rabbit was tasked with preparing delicious meals. On the other hand, the monkey, known for its nimble hands, was assigned to make desserts and inventive snacks. Thus, it allotted duties to different animals and said, Jackals are of no use for the forest. Drive them away. All the jackals were turned away from the forest. Thus, the dyed jackal ruled over the forest. One day, it heard the howling sound of other jackals. From a far off place. It forgot that it was a king now. The dyed jackal also started howling. When the tiger saw the jackal howling, it realized its folly. He told his friends, It is not our king, but a cunning jackal. Once the lion, rabbit, and monkey discovered the dyed jackal's deception, the rabbit, ears twitching with frustration, suggested, We must teach it a lesson it won't forget. The monkey said, No more deception in our forest. The lion roared in anger. It is a cheater. 
It cheated all of us. I will kill it. The lion killed the jackal. Thus, the jackal met its end.